this is Jessica with Dining Traveler and welcome to the Dining Traveler cooking series where we try recipes from our favorite destinations at home. And I'm with a very special guest, a person that made me fall in love with Austria, my friend Sabrina, and you are gonna teach us how to make your version of? Glühwein. And can you tell us a little bit more about what is Glühwein? So Glühwein is the most important thing you can have, uh, drink and enjoy during the festive season. It's basically a hot wine mixed with spices and fruit juices. Yum. And this time we're going to do a little different version of Glühwein. We're going to make it with white wine and I'm super excited. It's my first time trying it. So let's get started. So we have the ingredients here to get started. So can you walk us through these, Sabrina? Sure, with pleasure. So first, of course, we need wine for hot wine. I selected a white wine that is not too dry, but also not fruity. So in our case, it's a Sauvignon Blanc, mm -hmm. very classic grape. You don't want to have a too sweet wine because we've, we have so many other sweet ingredients mm -hmm. that would just overload the Glühwein. Mm -hmm. Then secondly, freshly squeezed orange juice, go for the best. Mm -hmm. You will taste the difference, right? You can get freshly squeezed orange juice um, at your local supermarket or organic farmers markets, whatever. You will also like the pulp that's in the juice that gives um, the glue and a little bit later on a very special mm. feeling in your mouth. And then the spices, Jessica, I guess your favorite part. Yeah. <laughs> so what I brought today are cloves, cinnamon sticks and star anise. Things that you regularly use uh, during the festive season to prepare different kinds of food. I also brought um, vanilla powder. Feel free to also use different varieties of vanilla if you don't have powder at home. And something very special at the end that I brought are um, chili flakes. Mm -hmm. So we'll add a little bit of a special um, detail to our Glühwein. And of course you guys have also noticed the orange. No good drink goes without its best decoration. So we will use it for a very nice garnishing. And then we have a little uh, Puerto Rico meets Austria, kind of like Sabrina and I. Um, and we have some rum, and that is for the end to add like that little spike touch. So first of all, we're gonna pour in the wine and you best use a 0.75 liter bottle of white wine, not too dry, not too sweet. Well, second comes half a liter of orange or blood orange juice. So today we are preparing blue wine on a gas stove. In case you have also a gas stove at home, be careful with putting not too much heat to the Glühwein. We don't want to make the Glühwein boil, we just want to have it simmering. At the moment, I'm not adding additional water to it. This will come a little bit later because um, Glühwein is all about trying, tasting and then deciding do I want to add more sugar, do I want to add more alcohol or more water. So we leave it like this, we wait a little bit and in the meanwhile we get our spices. So now it's time to add spices to our Glühwein. And I'm starting just with the cloves. No need to grind them. We can take them out in a later stage if we don't want them. Second thing uh, we add is a cinnamon stick. Next is the star anise. So now one of my favorite ingredients is added to the Glühwein, which is vanilla. Basically, there is no fixed rule how much vanilla you should add to your Glühwein. So most important thing is that you like it taste and it's actually enough vanilla that you can taste it but it's not too much that is overwhelming the Glühwein. And last but not least, a little pinch of chili. If you don't like it too spicy, be careful with uh, the chili flakes, especially if you have chili like bird's eye, which is rather intense. So I tend to start with a little bit of chili and we can later on add more if you wish. So now it's time to stir everything together. Just use a spoon or wooden kitchen spoon that you just have and you let this simmer. So I see that now the glue wine is simmering and it makes the house smell so nice. I might just do this every night and during the holidays. <laughs> it's just so cozy. And you were mentioning that the pot is very important to make glue wine. Yes, so in this case we have a very special pot that uh, takes a little bit longer to heat up but has also the advantage to keep the heat. So Glühwein is something that um, you can prepare in a couple of minutes. So basically you wait five minutes, uh, let it simmer and then you taste the Glühwein, you decide if you want to add something. 
but after that time Glühwein can stay on the stove for the whole evening. So Jessica, this has simmered now for about 10 minutes yeah. and it's time to get out the cinnamon stick because mm. we don't want to have a bitter Glühwein. So now we're gonna do a little taste and we had talked about before with spices, this is when you decide to add something. Both Sabrina and I don't like things overly sweet, but if you do feel you want a little bit of sweetness, you can add some sugar, right? Absolutely. It's your Glühwein and you just add whatever you like. Okay, so let's mm. try it. I love the smell of vanilla. Me too. So what do you think, Jessica? Mm. How do you like our Glühwein? I'm ready for this party. So now the Glühwein is done and you can drink it as is or we can do a little kick. So what do we do? We go for the little kick, right? Yeah, so let's do this Puerto Rican style. So <laughs> you had mentioned uh, something about rum and also a little bit of the fruit notes. And I have this passion fruit rum that I actually bought on my last trip to Puerto Rico from one of my favorite distillers, Don Q. So we'll try a little bit. So now to the fun part, to taste. So cheers. Prost. Salud. Mm. Mm. Wow. It's so good. And I love the little kick of the rum and with the passion fruit because it's not overpowering and it goes really well with the orange and the spices. It's just an explosion of flavors. Mm -hmm. And I cannot wait to go to Austria and have a proper one and shoot more videos there. So thank you so much, Sabrina, for coming to Brussels and for sharing your family recipe with me. And thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any feedback or questions, please leave them in the comments and I'm gonna continue to drink my glue wine. So, prost. Cheers, bye. Cheers. <laughs>